Peshag Avibian inside Matt Brown's lonely life after being removed from the show due to sexual assault charges and Alaskan Bush People alum. This weekend marks the start of Alaskan Bush People's new season without one of its longtime major cast members. The oldest son Matt Brown has been conspicuously absent from advertisements on the Discovery Channel announcing the return of the show on October 2. In 2020, Matt was charged with allegedly raping two women brutally days apart after binge drinking for several days. Since the allegations, several family members have shied away from Matt and his company. Billy and Amy Brown's rejected son battled addiction for years before entering the Betty Ford Clinic to confront his demons. He gave supporters an update on Instagram earlier this week about his happily routine life in Alaska according to reports that he is now clean. The 40-year-old described his most recent shopping excursion to get the items he would need for the winter in a video message he uploaded. Matt demonstrated his abundance of supplies, which include hand towels, tuna packets, cans of soup and beans, and a flashlight he can use to record his video updates. Matt lives fully off the grid in a wood cabin. He said, his accent a little slurred, I'd also want to get some firewood, chopped and split, and placed up against the cabin. Because gathering firewood will be exceedingly challenging when it begins to snow, and there is snow on the ground. Even better, he went out and got some little balls to use in a future juggling film. Claims and AFTRMATIT Matt is still managing his disgraced personal life which broke down as a result of the rape accusations made by two different women. The first complainant, 37-year-old Jessica Georges, was formerly the reality TV family's personal assistant. She said that Matt sexually assaulted her in a pool while she struggled to fend him off in an exclusive interview with the U.S. Sun. On July 8, 2018, Matt allegedly began drinking vodka as Jessica sipped Hennessy before convincing her to enter a pool. He tore my bathing suit off, Jessica claimed when describing the alleged assault, resisted letting go of me. I probably said no a million times. I felt repulsed. In an effort to get him off of me, I used every mean word in my arsenal. Charlene Dawn, three days later, at the same spot in Kenaga Park, Los Angeles, early Matt's former manager, said Matt had sexually assaulted her while intoxicated. He was aware that I had a hip replacement and that my legs weren't as powerful as the rest of my body, the woman alleged. So that's how it went down. My hips were weak, so I couldn't fight him off. He was completely inebriated. Because of his intoxication, he later claimed that I had raped him. One by one. Both ladies reported the alleged rapes to the Topanga Division of the LAPD, which opened an investigation and forwarded the matter to the District Attorney's Office of Los Angeles County. Later on, the DA's office decided not to press charges. Since the allegations, several family members have shied away from Matt and his company. According to an insider who works closely with the Brown family, the son, the claimed instances aren't at all shocking. I believe her claim just because of the way the family behaves around him, the insider said. Some family members won't even talk to him, much less collaborate with him. According to the source, Snowbird, 27, Noah, 30, Gabe, Rain, 19, and Snowbird are not friendly with their brother. The absence of Matt from the show after the alleged assaults is evidence of the family's separation from him, as younger siblings Bear, 35, and Rain left him off of posts honoring siblings on National Siblings Day in April. Bear was the only one of Billy and Amy's kids to send wishes to Matt on his 38th birthday in September. Back six up Matt. In a video post from last year, Matt appeared to disparage his family when he said that some people still won't accept him as a result of his fight with addiction. 100% of my 50%, Matt captioned a video he posted. I've looked in the mirror so many times before, and I was scraggly and unclean, and I looked insane and everything, he remarked in the video.
And these days, I shave and keep myself clean because I don't want to see that guy when I look in the mirror. The worst thing for me is that there are individuals in this world who just won't accept it, no matter how I look, what I'm doing, or how long I've got my act together. The hardest part is having to live with them, observe them, and hear the things they say, which just plainly don't reflect reality in any way. That's a lot for me to attempt to comprehend and be okay with at times. Face your anxieties, it will be awk. Matt wrote as the title of another Instagram video, I cherish you.